Power to the people, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, with back-to-back -back Academy Awards, boy, I'm telling you, whenever this guy's on the show, you know what the good thing about this guy? He's just a nice, decent guy. Sure is. A and whenever he's in the movies, you sense that, and that's why he is, well, he's talented, too, on top of that. But people, when they watch him in the various roles, they say, there's Tom, he's a very nice man. Uh, he is, uh, uh, oh, is Hollywood's biggest movie star. His new film, uh, Apollo 13, opens tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is. Little Tommy Hanks. Good to see you again. That's swinging. Dave, man, is it good to see you. As always, I've it's been, a pleasure it's to have you. It's been months, here. Dave, since I've had a good, solid dose of Dave. Months. <laughs> well, I and think that's probably why. You know, and, uh, well, I tell you, I'll, I'll do anything for you, Dave. I'll do anything. I appreciate I'll, I'll that. I'll do anything for you, Dave. <laughs> no, get I'll get up yourself. in front of three and a half billion people and watch Spinning Dogs yeah! for you, Dave. <laughs> You bet. <clears throat> could, use, uh, <clears throat> could use a little notice next time. Well, no, yeah. I, everybody says, did you know that Dave was going to ask you up on stage there at the Academy Awards? I, said, I honestly thought he was waving to Steven Seagal right behind me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Steven Seagal had been at the top of my list. No, I don't, well, Steven Seagal, he's one word. Yeah. Funny. You know? <laughs> yes, sir. One word. I'm dying. But you know what it was? I mean, you must have sensed it when you were up there and we're enjoying the spinning dog, and how can you not, by the way? You must have okay, sensed just it, like You it. must have sensed yourself. You must have said, I already feel like a winner. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I must say that I wasn't, I wasn't expecting anything to be expected of me until yeah, much later in the show. So, in fact, the buzz from the uh, post-Oscar cast happy hour was still kind of lingering. Oh, so you, uh, you hadn't were really been able to... You were impaired we had, just a bit. You know, just, we had a little, <laughs> some wine in the car. But congratulations. Thank you. I mean, my God. Thank the you. Back Thank you very much. I just, you know, what are, where do you have them? They're, they're you know, they're just sitting with the, with the kids' soccer and swimming trophies, the horse ribbons. They're just down there on the they wall. Probably shame, are, aren't they probably are, yeah. You just have them around I the do, house. I do. And everybody says, are you going to win one for that movie you do with Dave? Everybody <laughs> thinks you and I are doing a movie together. Oh, that would be great. Because we have such great yeah. repartee. And I would, I would <laughs> love to do a movie with you. You know, I've been thinking about this, Dave. Yeah. You know the thing that's really hit with the, uh, the kids just love it now? <laughs> is these, these action hero oh, yeah. films. Well, like this Judge Dredd like kind of that, thing. Sylvester Stallone Batman, and Rob Schneider. And, you know, you'd be great, I think. I think I'd be good in it, too, because you know what action heroes always have? What's that? Sidekicks, Dave. Yeah, all right. They always have sidekicks. Yeah. And I, you can be, you be the main man. I get to be the action hero. You can wear the contour bicep muscle suit. <laughs> you can wear that. I got you, one on now. You, I know you do. You're, you're incredibly fine, Dave. Look at that. Look at that. You can, you, can have the, uh, you can have the full head cowl, uh -huh. the thing that like covers everything but say your mouth, uh -huh. <laughs> your finest feature, and then... <clears throat> will wear the sidekick outfit. You'll be the sidekick. I'll wear the green vest and just that little strip of felt across uh -huh. my eyes. And, and you can be uh, Captain, Captain Dave. Dave, and, uh, I'll, Captain be, Dave and I'll be Skippy the Wonder the Child. And I'll be, Captain I'll be Dave and Skippy, the you get blockbuster to stand like of the it. summer. <laughs> <You'll> be, <laughs> be, the computer effects are just going to well, be let's fantastic. Just try that. Let's see what that stance is going to look like. Let's just go head, over Dave. here. I'm Captain Dave. Here's my sidekick, Skippy. <laughs> or oh, something, you know? Dave, no, I just love it. Hey, enjoy your complimentary beverage. Uh, now, <laughs> tell me about the, uh, the goatee. Have you had a beard before? Uh, well, let's, let, can, you know, I'm not sure. Can we get something straight? Is it a goatee? I think so, Is yeah. it a Van Dyke? No, I think it's a goatee. It's not a Fu Manchu? <laughs> well, now, see, I don't know. Is it mutton chops today? No, it's not, no. it's not mutton chops. I know, mutton right. chops are like when you're doing that Mickey Dolan's imitation, you know, that kind of, you <laughs> do that Mike Nesmith thing. Mickey Dolan's, oh, right look here. at that. 
Shemu reference in quite Jeez. some time, and yet we get it from. That's, that's amazing. Unbelievable. That's fantastic. Uh, so you have a little beard, and yeah. is it just for fun? Is it just for the summer? Well, is it, it for like a movie? You doing no, another no, movie? No, no, I'm unemployed, Dave. This is essentially uh. just. To, I'm trying. I'm trying to look one of two things. I, I'd love to appear to be either diabolical, yeah. or diplomatic. But distinguished. Right. Uh, and uh, I don't know if it's working or not. A, 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 a West Coast publication, I don't, I don't know, the, the photo play or sporting news or something, did a, uh, <laughs> uh, did a, did a poll of like over 4,000 adults, and the results were like 3% thought it made me look distinguished. Yeah. Uh, and about 3% said it made me look uh, diabolical. Yeah. And uh, the remaining 94% says no difference. <laughs> Well, this is certainly a worthwhile project, well, though, I think. Yeah. You know, yeah, well. uh, and tonight, right here on the show, you're going to take that off for Well, us. I tell you, the, for a while there, the wife kind of enjoyed that mysterious stranger in the bedroom. <laughs> uh, but then, uh, uh, I, the, uh, and then I began to wonder, yeah, you know, is you, it, you came is, home and put an end to that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So it's coming off tonight, babe. It's coming off tonight. But now you know what we've determined from having done a little of this, and it never turned out as nicely as yours has. Huh. This is a two-step process. I'm going to have to trim, and you're going to have to shave. What, Dave, is that all right? You're my man. Okay. <laughs> I'll pay you four dollars. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to do that when we come back uh, with Tom Hanks, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Emma, seems like we've known each other forever. Mm, yeah, I know. Two weeks. Will you marry me? Because, Emma, I love you, man. Oh, Johnny, you're not getting my Bud Light. For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down. Johnny? Make it a Bud Light. Jane? It's Joan. Jane, Joan, whatever. I feel like I've known you forever. Hello. Today, phone patrol needs your help. On the night of June 5th, I received an anonymous tip. A local resident was allegedly dialing zero to make collect calls. As I attempted to correct matters, the situation quickly escalated. Oh, no. <laughs> the date the perpetrator remains at large. If you or anyone you know makes collect calls from home or anywhere, please dial 1-800-COLLECT. You'll be helping to save hard-earned cash. <laughs> Why did Americans who fought in Vietnam go back? To offer them a deal. If you help us find our missing, we'll help you find yours. 60 Minutes, Sunday. Play Pennzoil's Brickyard 400 sweepstakes. Ten grand prizes of both a trip for two to the Brickyard 400 and a 95 Chevy Monte Carlo Z34. Over 80,000 other prizes. Enter wherever Pennzoil is sold or installed by the pros. Brickyard's the game. Pennzoil's the name. Look under the bottle cap to see if you're winning when you buy Pennzoil at Kmart. Says, right now, every Toyota dealer has 0% financing on Corolla. Now get distributor authorized financing on new Corollas. Yep, 0% financing on Corolla. Toyota Corolla. With more standard equipment than Nissan and a longer warranty than Honda. Plus, right now, get financing as low as 0%. Distributor authorized. 0% financing on Corolla is for a limited time only. I love what you do for me. Does your mattress make you fighting mad? Do you wake up tired? Do you fall asleep in your soup? Then follow the red arrow to the mattress firm where nobody sells Sealy for less. Nobody! Find Sealy Queen sets for $5.99. Red arrow priced only $2.77. And twin Sealy mattresses. Red arrow priced from $38. It's the Sealy Red Arrow sale. So look for the red arrow at the mattress firm where nobody sells Sealy for less. Nobody! Yeah, what 
Welcome back to the show. Thank you, all right. There you go. There's your Captain Dave and boy, Skippy. There you go. All right, how are you? This is from the episode where our alter egos from a dangerous bile duel in the parallel universe. In the parallel exactly. universe. Sure, they take over it. We will crush them. Yeah. Okay, let me just take this. Ah! Uh, tell us how your life uh, may or may not have changed now that you've won two of these Academy Awards. You can uh, retire now. You can well, do anything you want. You know, you get to meet a lot of, uh, you know, you get to meet a lot of very famous people, and people come try to find you. You know, sometimes they seek exciting. you out. They're they drawn do. to yes, you. Yes, they do. In fact, I got a I got a, a message once from one of my crack team of show business experts. <laughs> That said, uh, how big is that team? Well, by the way? Know, it's, it's it's two ladies, and they they both work part time. Uh, uh, and they said uh, they said, hey Tom, uh, 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 Princess Diana is trying to get a hold of you. And I said, no. you are, oh shut up, you are such, you are such a That's big amazing. fat lie. I I didn't believe it for a second. So I said, oh, you have you have her people try to call me. <laughs> and uh, I'm back at the apartment, and the phone rings, and I pick it up. You. And uh, it's it's something like hello Tom hello Tom what, uh, ooh hello Tom I'm I'm my name is Ducky and I'm calling from my, the I'm calling from Ducky. the office of the of the of the Princess of Wales and she'd like to talk to you and uh, really and uh, uh, she says yes but she can't she can't call you back but for about another twenty minutes will you be there I said yes 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 I'm right here you bet yeah mm -hmm. I'm right here sure I'm not going anywhere I hung up the phone and I realized I had a, a luncheon date with a friend of mine that I hadn't right. seen for twenty years. And I can't, like, call this guy no. and say, listen, pal, I'm sorry. I got to send you away for a phone call from this. Makes you look like a uh, jerk. I'll see you in another no, 20 years, right. pal. No, Good luck no, to you. you can't do that. Uh, so uh, it got closer and closer to, to my luncheon date, and so I, I, I didn't know what to do. So I had to change the, uh, the message on my, on my phone machine. <laughs> but I didn't want to say, you know, in case this is, this is Wales calling, I'll be back. <laughs> uh, because then my friends were really going to rag on me. So I tried, I tried to talk in this, like, code to her yeah. or her office. Something she would know. Yeah, so yeah. I'm there saying, hello, hi, this is Tom. And uh, I'm, I can't, I'm out for just a few hours. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it's one o'clock here in New York City. Uh, it's not, it's not five o'clock Greenwich Mean Time. Uh, uh, if you're in London, my goodness, we've already had the lunch that I'm going to. But I, I will, I will return in two hours, uh, 8 p.m. London Greenwich Mean Time, uh, to take your most gracious royal phone call. Should you be trying to call, leave a message and I will get back to you. And um, I, I come back and there's like seven messages on the thing. They're all my friends saying, who, who do you think's calling you? <laughs> what, what do you think? What do you think? The Queen of England is going to call you? <laughs> oh, no, not, not the Queen of England. No, so did, no, you ever, no. did you ever get together with the princess? I, she, I, we did reconnoiter on the phone. She had seen Philadelphia and was very impressed. And uh, we had like a great 20 minutes. Thank you. Nice. I see that's nice. That was, it was very nice. That's nice. unbelievable that all the way from around the world she places that call to you. That must have yes, been Yes, it was. It was, it, was, it was a thrill, and that comes along with, you know, the, the watching them spinning dogs. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, I mentioned to you earlier that uh, the uh, director of uh, Apollo 13, and, and, and what a story that is. Do it people is know, people must know. Well, of course, people my age know. And, I and don't older. think Morty was watching the saga <laughs> no, of Apollo 13. <laughs> hey, Mom, what's, what's going on with that spaceship thing, Mom? Mom, I mean... <laughs> Have you seen my canned heat album, Mom? <laughs> How come Country Joe and the no. Fish are down, down yeah. in the garden? We're gonna. Uh, it's, it is. It's an incredible story. It's an incredible story. I mean, it's incredible for two reasons. I was talking to Ron Howard about this the other night. One, that in 1970, people were already starting to become blasé yeah. about uh, travels to the moon. Going which to is, the moon that's was, hard yes, to fathom It was a routine now. thing in 1970. That's yes. right. But, as we know, space travel is never routine, no. and especially in the case of this mission. Yes. Tell us about the film. Tell us about the research and anything else you know about well, this Well, we, the, the we were trying to... Uh, the, the spacecraft are very small, and we wanted to be able to... to to recreate zero gravity as best we could because a huge amount of the movie takes mm -hmm. place in this very tightly confined spot. So we, we did take a set and put it inside the now famous KC-135 zero gravity aircraft that NASA operates. Right. And we went out over the Gulf of Mexico and did these roller How high up do they go? 35,000 feet and then it pitches over at 45 degrees and you go straight down and then you come up and, and <laughs> down and up and down. Cool. And it is nicknamed the Vomit Comet for very appropriate reasons. <laughs> Oftentimes you do get sick to the point of vomiting. <laughs> now I, I had one uh, the second Tell day. Tell that to the princess. Well, yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for her. I have a message on my machine. Ducky, we'll I'm doing the, the David Letterman show. And, uh, um, and we, were, we were doing, uh, the second day, I said, you know, I know what this drill is, so I don't think I need to take that anti-nausea medication. I know Who what else is like. on the plane? I know oh, it's you, it's Ron Howard, it's Bill Jerry Paxton, Sinise. Bill uh, Paxton, Kevin Bacon, uh, Todd Hollowell, the actors and the directors, right. and a bunch of crew guys. And uh, I, the second day, I was, I got, I was so nauseous, Dave, I had an out-of-body experience. <laughs> Lunch was, had an out-of-body experience. Was, I tell you, I was just barely able to crawl off the set and uh, make my way eventually back to the, we, uh, the, 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 the seats in the back of the plane. We have, we have the air sick bags mm -hmm. in our little leg pockets, and I'm sitting there trying to keep my center of attention directly on Kevin Bacon's head, the back of Kevin Bacon's <laughs> head, and I just feel so sick, and I'm just trying. I don't want to look down, because if I look down, my head's going to spin off, and I'm just trying to reach it up. And I, my body wanted to throw up so yeah, badly, yeah. but it, it did not have literally the chemical makeup to do so. My, I didn't have anything in my stomach. So rather than, than throwing up, I, 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 I went cacac. <laughs> How does that go exactly? Well, it's, it's, essentially, it's essentially like this. <laughs> and I, there was nothing in the bag, and then... <laughs> Just, just a, a massive reef yeah. and there was nothing in there just <laughs> just a bag full of hot air <laughs> oh my and that's my and then we shot the rest of the movie and it's uh, is the is the uh, experience of being uh, weightless for those few seconds is it exhilarating oh it's you in, can... we had weightlessness for like 23 seconds at a pop we did we did 600 over 600 i think 628 total parabolas each one about 23 seconds long Oh so we God. had, to, all total, we had uh, just under four hours of time spent in zero gravity. Yeah. Just a few minutes less than John Glenn's flight, as a matter of fact. Yeah, because his first flight was, was just, just three orbits, the, and he was right. weightless for yeah, that's about That's a lot of cacking. Oh. <laughs> that's the name I of the guess. governor of the state of New York, isn't it? Isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Governor Kakaki! I, I, <laughs> Kakaki! Lovely name. Well, uh, what, I was there, and... Because it was like a near-death experience, I, I started like hallucinating, and I thought I'd go back to like swimming in the swimming hole or marrying my wife or the birth of my children, but no, instead, I, in, I imagined myself, and I truly was back on stage playing the violin in a scene from The Man with One Red Shoe, <laughs> a movie that I made. I, I, so I, I, the, and here's, the reason I know, that was my life flashing before my eyes, and I know it was The Man with One Red Shoe because the conductor was David Ogden Stiers from M.A.S.H. He played the conductor in this movie I made called The Man with One Red Shoe. And we I have think, it here tonight. Roll it, Jerry. Here's Tom Hanks, life flashing oh, before okay. his eyes. There here's, he is. Oh, oh, I'm sick. <laughs> this is what it was. I'm sick. Oh, oh I feel terrible. Oh, sick. Oh, there's Laurie Singer. She's in my dream, too. David, David, help me. I'm sick. There I'm you sick, are. Dave. My, my legs are cold. You're getting ready That's to... That's what it was. ...to meet Morty downtown. All right, now. When we come back... I'll trim you shave, okay? You got it. We'll be right back here with Tom Hanks. Yeah. We are absolutely certain about this, right? No man is ever really prepared to be a father. <laughs> Isn't it cute? But some are less prepared than others. No, no more tennis for today. I can't be a father. From the director of Mrs. Doubtfire, Gideon, Hugh Grant. It's the boy. Everything else is as it should be. Eyes in the right spot. Nothing whatsoever. Yeah. Nine months. Follow me! No! Rated PG-13. Starts Wednesday, July 12th at theaters everywhere. Very cool place. 
This is like home for us. The Chris Mani's Owner's Mario's Cafe. Every little detail makes this the best. The best coffee beans, the best pastries, even the best way to get out coffee stains. If we do things right the first time, we have more time to do the fun stuff. Don't just wash, treat, and wash with Liquid Tide. Built in pre-treat ingredients break up stains. The wash does the rest. Pre-treat to help get out most tough stains. Tide works for us, and uh, if something's working, why change it? If it's got to be clean, it's got to be Tide. Oh, this is a place, if I didn't own it, I'd definitely come here. Chew on this. The average American eats five times a day. Five times. And only brushes twice. Chewing Trident after eating can help you fight cavities five times a day. Yep, Trident helps you fight cavities. So every time you eat, chew on this. Trident. One of the ways Ryder makes your move easier is by renting trucks with automatic transmission. Because moving doesn't have to be an uphill battle. Ryder. We're there when you need us. When you absolutely, positively need a great golf package, CBS delivers the FedEx St. Jude Classic. Make it a priority this weekend. Welcome to Movie News. I'm Rob Weller. Pocahontas, Disney's 33rd animated feature, opened in theaters everywhere last weekend and quickly rose to the top of the box office. Audiences across the country were excited to get their first look at Disney's enchanting new animated adventure. The music was fantastic. I really liked it all. Best movie I've ever seen. While Disney Pictures' Pocahontas is now playing. In Judge Dredd, Saturday Night Live's Rob Schneider learns that there are some things more difficult than comedy. Stallone told me, you know, they say comedy's hard. Action pictures are hard, and he's absolutely right. Mr. I am the... Judge Dredd starts Friday. While preparing to shoot Disney's Operation Dumbo Drop, the crew learned just how hard it is to transport an 8,000-pound elephant. And in the movie, four American soldiers try to solve the same problem. Who's going to lead this delightful little operation? I am. Disney's Operation Dumbo Drop starts July 28th. For Movie News, I'm Rob Weller. Any sign of him yet? Nope. Ought to be here by now. I think I hear him. Well, look at here. When you've worked up a Texas size thirst. Here you go, boys. Cold beer. There's no better way to quench it than with a cold, cool slice. Next time, I get to go for the beer. Next time, let the taste of the Rockies come to you. And uh, we'll be joining us in just a little bit. What are you, what are you doing now? The, the big uh, premiere is, uh, or the film opens, debuts uh, uh, tomorrow, Dave. tomorrow night. Going to be a huge, huge motion Well, well you never know. Knock on wood. You know, that, that's a, an enormous undertaking. I was talking to Ron Howard about that. He's just, he's just like a kid. How can he direct a big, huge, what, like a $40 million film like that? Does he know what he's doing? Well, he does. And if he doesn't, every now and again, we just grab him, pull his pants down, and spank those little buttocks. <laughs> oh, man. I'd love to be on that set. Well, now... Uh, are you going to take some time off now? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing for the rest of the year. I'm but do you sure. already know what your next film project will be? No, sir, I do not. No. Do you uh, have an idea? Uh, no, not, not, a, not a single one. How many scripts do you read in the course of a year? In the course of a year, I read two. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. It's, it's one or the other day. <laughs> You've had pretty good luck. Uh, well, My no. God. Well, I tell you, that's See, I look at the draw. <laughs> I would have thought... But no, it's just the two, and you said, by God, I'll make I'll this make one. I'll make that one. I read another you know, one? I'll make that that's one, That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. That's how, <laughs> Dave, that's how we all do it. That's <laughs> how we all do it, Dave. Right? right. I yes. have no idea. What? I know nothing about movies. Oh, come movies. on. We're busy with kids and going to the dentist and stuff. <laughs> I'm not going to read. I'm going to read every one of these damn things. You're crazy. <laughs> uh, all right, are you ready? Uh, you know what? I'd like to be a clean-shaven man, Dave. All right, good for you, Tom. I appreciate that. I'm good. Go on over here. You have the, uh, I got the thing here. You have the buzzer? Yeah, I got it right there. Now, I'm nervous. <clears throat> With my luck, I'll take your lip off and you'll never work again. No, no, actually, actually, you'll continue to work. I'll never work again. Well, <clears throat> all right, so let's see here. Now, just can we talk, just understand you have a power tool in your hand, Dave. <laughs> so look, look at that thing. I have the steel toe oh, safety shoes. Oh, my there. goodness all right. gracious. All right, now, I'm just going to trim it down a little bit. Uh, what you have to do is trim off the excess, and all then right. I, I guess I shave with a razor. Okay, I think you can face the audience. Oh, I'm this sorry. Part. I was looking in the mirror. Rookie. Music here. It's been a while since I shaved. Oh, this is. You're all right? I'm fine. 
are going. Look at all the pretty colors, Dave. <laughs> There's brown and blonde and gray and red in there. You know, this is, for some reason, actually maybe a little too much fun. <laughs> Got any girly magazines? Have you ever had surgery before, son? Mm. You know, they're, they're rebounding right up into my nose, Dave. Mm. If you put that, put that, put. Okay, there we go. You, you could have carved your name in there if you wanted to, Dave. That'd be great. A little goatee says Dave right in there. It's an expensive suit. found a whole new calling. <laughs> All right, there you go, buddy. You're on your own. Here we go. Do I look in the mirror now, Dave? Yeah, yeah you can look right in there. <laughs> Physical comedy. Hey, he's doing a no, bad, a bad. Hey, he's doing a really bad. Bad. He reads two scripts yeah. a year. He knows what he's doing. Later that same day. You know, my dad once told me, never go against the grain. No, all right, fine. Always fly first class and never go against yeah, okay. the grain. There's nothing first class going on here tonight. <laughs> you know, uh, I think this bit was cut from one of the old Lucy shows. <laughs> We'll do this next year at the Academy Awards. Who's that? It's getting close, it's Dave. Close, I'm almost gentlemen. done. You can feel it. problem with a dog being tough. You gotta control him. Stop right there! Oh, Shep, be cool. Some dogs have been trained to be antisocial. It ain't their fault. Come on, boys. You act like fools. See? Uh, how you doing, Red Dog? You got the goods. Relax. You don't have to prove it. Red Dog beer. Old yet sweet, easy to drink. <laughs> My friend, you are a real brave. Red Dog. I'm real stupid. On June 30th, Hollywood Pictures presents the thrill ride of the summer. We're going to war. Judge Dredd is spectacular entertainment. I am the law! Terrifically funny. You're the law! Wonder of England Drake! With explosive action and dazzling special effects. Sylvester Stallone is Judge Dredd. I am the law. Rated R. <laughs> you bet. <clears throat> could, use, uh, <clears throat> could use a little notice next time. Well, without that. Yeah. I, everybody says, did you know that Dave was going to ask you up on stage there at the Academy Awards? I said, I honestly thought he was waving to Steven Seagal right behind me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Steven yeah. Seagal had in at the top of my list. No, I don't, well, <laughs> Steven Seagal, he's yeah. one word. Yeah. Funny. You know? <laughs> yes, sir. One word. I'm dying. But you know what it was? I mean, you must have sensed that even when you're up there and we're enjoying the spinning dog, and how can you not, by the way? <laughs> You must have they sensed just it. Like you it. must have sensed yourself. You must have said, "I already feel like a winner." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I must say that I wasn't. I wasn't expecting anything to be expected of me until yeah, much later in the show. So, in fact, the buzz from the uh, post-Oscar cast 
happy hour was still kind of lingering. Oh, so you, uh, you hadn't were really been able to. You were impaired. We had, just you know, just we had a little <laughs> some wine in the car. But congratulations! Thank you. I mean, my God, thank the you. Back thank to you back. very much. Thank you. Thank you. I don't, I don't know. What do you, where do you have them? There, there, you know, they're just sitting with the with the kids' soccer and swimming trophies, the horse ribbons. They're just down there on the they wall. Probably are, they probably are. Yeah. You just have them around. I the do, house. I do. And everybody says, "Are you going to win one for that movie you do with Dave?" Everybody <laughs> thinks you and I are doing a movie together. Oh, that would be. No. Power to the people, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, with back-to-back -back Academy Awards, boy, I'm telling you, whenever this guy is on the show, you know what the good thing about this guy? He's just a nice, decent guy. Sure is. A and whenever he's in the movies, you sense that, and that's why he is, well, he's talented, too, on top of that. But people, when they watch him in the various roles, they say, there's Tom, he's a very nice man. Uh, he is, uh, uh, oh, is Hollywood's biggest movie star. His new film, uh, Apollo 13, opens tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, little Tommy Hanks. Because we have such great repartee, yeah. and I would, I would love to do a movie with you. You know, I mean, think about this, Dave. Yeah. You know, the thing that's really hit with the, uh, the kids just love it now, <laughs> is these, these action hero. Oh yeah. Films. Well, like this Judge Dredd like kind that, of thing, Sylvester Batman, Stallone and Rob Schneider. And, you know, good. you'd be great. I think. I think I'd be good in it too, because, you know, what action heroes always have. What's that? Sidekicks, Dave. Yeah, all right. They always have sidekicks. Yeah. And I, you can be, you be the main man. I get to be the action hero. You can wear the contour bicep muscle suit. <laughs> you can wear that. I got you, one on now. You, I know you do. You're, in, you're incredibly fine, Dave. Yeah. Good to see you again. That's swinging. Dave, man, is it good to see you. As always, I've it's been, a pleasure it's to have you It's been months, here. Dave, since I've had a good, solid dose of Dave. Months. <laughs> well, I, I think do. that's probably why. You know, and, uh, well, I tell you, I'll, I'll do anything for you, Dave. I'll do anything. I appreciate I'll, I'll that. I'll do anything for you, Dave. <laughs> no, get I'll get up in front of three and a half billion people and watch Spinning Dogs yeah! for you, Dave. <laughs>